Hey guys, Jeff the Magic Man back with you for this time a product tutorial on my aircraft balloon pump. Let's get started. Okay, now to start off here I want to tell you about the physical features of the pump. The first thing you'll notice is that the body of the pump appears to be made out of a PVC type material. It's very heavy duty. And the base uh, it appears to be made out of some sort of plywood. You can see the lines in the wood here. Um, and this is pretty heavy duty too. It doesn't really feel like plywood. Uh, but it sure looks like it. And on the bottom here you'll see these plastic uh, rubber grips. These are really handy for slippery floors, gymnasium floors. Uh, this pump won't move around at all. So these help keep it steady. And uh, the best feature that I find with this pump is that the neck is detachable. I've heard so many stories of balloon twisters saying, oh, my pump broke, I was on my way to a job, and the neck snapped. Uh, th that's a very common thing because the neck is the um, uh, smallest part of the pump. So taking this off, keeping this safe in a balloon bag, and having this nice and flush, very handy. I actually got a cap, a screw cap from Home Depot, a plastic cap that I put on here just to keep the dust and everything out because um, it is open. And the only other thing that I'd like to mention here is this hook. Now, I don't know what the hook is for, uh, probably for some sort of strap, but I use the hook for popping balloons. Uh, it's not sharp at all, so the kids can't really cut themselves like they could a uh, balloon cutter. But it pops the balloons pretty well. And sometimes if it's in your car, it might get loose, might get bumped and get loose. If that does happen, just straighten it out like that and tighten it a bit, and then it won't move. So yeah, the other great thing, because... The head is detachable. All of the aircraft pumps are customized to your height. So that's the one thing I like about this. Um, he customizes them to fit your height. And there's more information on their website about that. And I'll post a link to that page um, in the comment in the description below. Okay, so on to the next part. Okay, so now we're going to talk about some of my thoughts and ideas about this balloon pump here, or my thoughts and opinions, some of the things I like, some of the things I don't like. The first thing I want to mention here that I really like is that the pump is very smooth. Um, I got it about a year ago, and I've used it in well over 100 shows, and it's as smooth as the day I got it. So two thumbs up on that. One of the things that I really don't like about the pump is that it looks homemade because it's made of PVC and some of the shows that I've been to some people have asked uh, you know oh who made your pump for you or how did you make your balloon pump so one thing I'm working on is a uh, design for a vinyl sticker that I'm gonna put around the actual pump uh, with some colorful balloon animal cartoons on it uh, to make it look more professional because I don't believe it looks as professional as it should be. And the one other thing I did want to mention about this pump that I don't like, that's notable, is that it doesn't have a strap on it. Um, I've tried putting a strap on this pump, like right around here to here, but it, it was really uncomfortable. So I'm going to keep working on that. And the other thing I did want to mention, the last thing, is the weight of the pump. It's about... I'd say about five or ten pounds and so it's about average a little bit heavier than some of the pumps out there and a little bit lighter than some of the pumps out there so it's it's not that heavy to carry around and yeah so those are my thoughts and opinions let's move on to the next section okay now we're going to talk about cleaning the pump uh, you can see right here this is kind of the same color as the base of the pump you have white kind of a yellowish brownish needs to be cleaned. Uh, this is from uh, just balloon powder, just putting my hand on it uh, when I have balloon powder on and it gets dirty. So we have to clean it. 
Now, I have to put a disclaimer here. None of these products that I'm about to show you are uh, approved by aircraft pumps. They might be, I don't know, but use at your own risk. I've used all these products. My pump doesn't show any signs of physical damage, so my pump's fine, but still use at your own risk. The first one I want to show you is just dish soap. A couple drops of this in a bucket of water, and if you're at an event and it's muddy out and the bottom of your pump is muddy, get a scrub brush and just scrub the bottom of it. Uh, it it's very good for that. It even works on stuff like this. You just got to put a little bit more elbow grease into it. And also be careful of the antibacterial soap, hand soap. It does leave a bit of a film on the pump. The next thing I want to show you is Windex. Windex works better than soap and water on these kinds of stains, but again, it leaves kind of a film and kind of a greasy feeling on the pump. Um, with both of those, the soap and the water and the Windex, always apply them to a paper towel first and then use it on the pump. Uh, reason being is because if I were to put Windex right on the handle and it were to drip to the inside of the pump, it could gunk up some of the works in there and make your pump harder to use. Um, so to prevent that, paper towel. The next one I want to show you is Goo Gone. This is really great for making your pump nice and squeaky shiny and it does somewhat get off these stains here, but it leaves a really greasy layer on the pump. Uh, very gooey, not really gooey, um, slimy layer. Um, so that's something to think about. There's also industrial versions of this. If you think getting a, a higher grade Goo Gone is better, don't do that. Do not use the industrial strength petroleum products. That is going to corrode your pump, it's going to make it unusable, and it's, it's going to look terrible. It's going to etch your pump and it's no good. Goo Gone is the max I would go. The last product, and the one that I recommend the best, is Metal Polish Cream by Blue Magic. The rest of the products I showed you were a liquid. This one is more of a cream um, or a goo. Um, goopy cream. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I apply this to the pump. Um, it's meant to be used for metals like aluminum, chrome, stuff like that. Um, so it's meant to take care of oxides. It does have ammonium in it, ammonia. So be careful of that. Um, but I use it, works fine. And I'm going to show you right now how I clean the pump with it. Okay, well that was my product review on the aircraft balloon pump here. I hope you liked it and I hope you got some useful information out of it. Some stuff you can use. Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, uh, balloon how-to tutorials, stuff like that. And also if you like the video, like it and comment below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Okay, well, I'm Jeff the Magic Man and uh, I'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>